How important it is, one must realize that it is the cow which is sustaining lots and lots in the world, in this nature. Had it not been for the cow, probably our life would have been very deficient. What is it that the cow has not given us? Right from its moment of birth till the moment of even its death, even post the death, it gives us a lot. And we are shameless, we neglect the cow, we ill-treat the cow, we mistreat the cow, we even harm the cow and we kill the cow in many instances. How can this be allowed? How can this work? Is it right on our part? Look at this creature, how peaceful she is. This cow is so peaceful and so beautiful. She's just enjoying, she doesn't want anything from man. All that she wants is a little bit of affection, a little bit of attention, and she's there for you. But do we bother? We don't. We don't even bother about them. We don't even worry about them. Who? Oh, who is to blame? Man himself is to blame. In fact, in Sanatana Dharma, in the Hindu way of life, the cow is the most revered creation of the Lord. Sri Krishna has really enjoyed his time with the cows in Mathura, in Dwarka and in all the other places wherever he had the time to spend with the cows. But we never learnt a lesson. We read all about Krishna and we read all about the stories there of him taking the cows and the cowherds and the villagers to rest them under the Govardhan hill. But what did hap happen to us? What has happened to us, in fact? We didn't even bother about it. There's no lesson learnt. We continue to harm them from times immemorial. And as a result of which, we are the ones who are losing out. So is this right? For a detailed talk on this, stay with me as we go forward and enjoy the beauty of it.
Thank you.